Hey guys, so today I have my January favorites. Um, so I'm gonna tell you all the products I was loving throughout the month of January because it's January favorites. So February 4th is actually my one year YouTube anniversary, which is really crazy. I just remembered that just now. But yeah, so thank you if you've been subscribed to me for a long time or even if you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate it. And yeah crazy how fast a year goes by and how much a year changes things. Like last year I wasn't even thinking about kids and now I could not be more excited to meet our little one in June. So anyway, yeah, let's just jump in before I keep blabbering because my mind is like everywhere right now and I just had coffee so I'm like tired and hyper at the same time and it's just not a good combo. Anyway. Okay, so this month I went back to, um, start over, okay. So this month my skin was, has been all over the place and I remembered that I had this Polish Choice Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrator in my cabinet um, because Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom always talks about Polish Choice products and uh, for some reason I had thought this had something in it that I couldn't use while I was pregnant but it doesn't and I don't really know why I never used it consistently before I think maybe it was a texture because like a thicker kind of gel cream that kind of weirded me out and I kind of thought it was going to break me out even though it's meant for to help clear skin I don't know but anyway it is kind of a thicker product but it does go on and like quickly absorbs really nicely but I've been using this every night lately and really liking it and I really think it has helped a little bit, um, kind of help heal um, breakouts as well as, you know, prevent new ones and kind of even out the texture of my skin a little bit because it has been pretty bad. Not like horrible, but you know, I always have those, like little bumps everywhere and it's just annoying. But I do think this has helped. So I would like to order a new one of these soon and hopefully it'll keep improving my skin. We'll see. But for now I have been liking it. And then at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the month for foundation I was liking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Um, in my foundation routine I did mention this but I forgot to say it was the Matte Poreless one. I just said Maybelline Fit Me. But yes. Definitely the matte poreless. I have not tried the original Fit Me because I know that one's not really good for super oily skin. Um, this one has kind of lighter coverage, so it's not the best for when I'm having a really bad skin day. Um, like I probably could have used it today because right now it's not too bad. But um, yeah, just really great drugstore foundation wear as well. It's not the super longest lasting, but it does wear really well without looking cakey. And I love the finish of it, like I said before. Um, for primer, I've been really loving my Miracle Skin Transformer by Sarah McNamara, McNamara, whatever, um, <laughs> Miracle Skin Transformer. I have the shade Medium and I like how it just really helps even out my skin tone just a little bit. And lately, the last few days, I haven't used my um, Bye Bye Redness because this just evens out skin tone a little bit and then I haven't had as much redness lightly to cover so um yeah I'm really liking that it's a really great primer for pretty much any foundation I've even worn it with another favorite this month the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint so both of these add like a little bit of moisture while still helping things to last throughout the day and stay matte um Jouer Matte Moisture Tint will forever be a staple for me um the last two days I wore this without anything else. I mean I wore a little bit of powder foundation but this was my main foundation and really it's just a tinted moisturizer but it has fantastic coverage. I've raved about it before. Can't say enough good about it. Um, I'm still, this is still the first tube I ever bought and I will need a new one soon. It's getting low but this is just a fantastic stuff. I have the shade Linen for winter. And then um, what I'm wearing today and have also been loving this month is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is the shade Light Beige, um, which is the one for pink undertones. 
um, when I had gotten this a while back, I had wanted to get the one for neutral undertones, but um, it was sold out. So I just ended up getting this one and it was fine. But yeah, if you're kind of like in between and things can be kind of pink on you, I'll go with the one for neutral. But yeah, this one's still not bad and I do like it a lot. Then I have absolutely been loving my NYX um, Radiant Finishing Powder in Brighton. I've showed this before. I mentioned it in my yearly favorites. It's just a perfect brightening powder for under the eyes and wherever you would highlight. I also follow up with my MAC MSF and Light Scapade to highlight the cheekbones and everything, but it really just helps it brighten and I can't say enough good about it. And it's obviously a cheap, affordable drugstore product, and it'll last you forever. Since it's not like it's like a foundation or something. You've got 12 grams of grams of product, and you're not even using it all over your whole face. So, it's a great product. Oh, I keep getting out of breath. Probably because I just had a little bit of coffee, and being pregnant, I just feel like I've got all this belly and not enough <laughs> room for my lungs, I guess. Anyway, okay, I'm sure that's gonna get worse as I get bigger. Then my Milani uh, Brow Fix Kit in light, like I mentioned in my yearly favorites too. I've been using this for my brows and it's just a really great brow powder. Um, then after I use that, I've been using the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in Soft Brown. So that is a great brow combo. Then uh, for bronzer, I have been loving my MAC Bronzing Powder. This is the matte bronze. Um, I just love it. Like I said before, it's super well pressed, um, finely milled. It just goes on really sheer, so you can't easily like overdo it. Um, yeah. It's just a great bronzer. Really like it. Uh, then for blush, I've been really into my NYX blushes again, and I really want to get some more of their matte blushes. Um, first, Mocha is a beautiful one. Um, kind of a more, um, what would you call that? Deep apricot, kind of. Mocha. Mauve. I'm horrible at describing shades. Anyway, I really like their matte blushes. I do have so much shimmer, but I do prefer matte. And then Peach, which I've been wearing like the last several days. Um, just a beautiful matte pink. So, and NYX blushes are only like $4.99 at Ulta. And, um, or NYX's website. They're $5.00. And um, I know if you sign up for NYX's emails, you can get 25% off your first order and they have free shipping at 25. Um, and uh, Ulta usually has a sale like 40% off NYX and some other brands sometime in the spring and then in the fall. So I'm looking out for that as well and I want to get some more of their matte blushes like I said and also their highlighter. So. Yeah, really loving NYX lately. So, that is it for my January favorites. I keep wanting to say December. Again, where is this year going already? Um, yeah, so Tuesday is the big day. We finally found out the gender of this little one. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, and hopefully it stops snowing soon. It's been snowing all day long. So we're gonna leave for night church again in just a bit and then go to a friend's house to watch the Super Bowl. So, yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad getting home, but that's winter for you. Anyway, enough blabber. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up, it'll really help. It helps other people find my videos. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.